Hey everyone, welcome on Davis Tag. So in this video, we are going to fetch the video from the gallery and we will going to play the video on our Flutter app. So this is the part two video of the Flutter random series. Here, if we select any video from the gallery, then we are able to play that video over here. Okay. So in the first video, we added the uh, on a pubspec.yaml file, we added the video player dependency. But in this video, we are going to use the image speaker dependency as well because we are fetching the video from the gallery and for the fetching the video from the gallery, we need the image speaker. So let's begin the coding so we can achieve this kind of UI. So before I will start the coding, please make sure that you watch the last video of the Flutter random series where we fetch the video from the internet and we are able to play that video. All the code are written over here like we initialize the video controller and we initialize the video value all those things are written already here that how we can control the play or pausing video all those things I already cleared so I'm not going to write the code again instead of that what I'm going to do that I'm going to copy the whole code for the video player and uh, here I'm going to create a new file which is the video player file dot dot file and I'm going to paste the code and we will gonna modify the code only so here instead of using the video player custom name I'm going to uh, change the class name to the video player file custom and also I'm going to change the state name of the class to the video player file state all the thing will be the same the only thing we have to change is instead of the fetching the video from the network we have to fetch the video from the file system so I'm going to create a new file for the fetching the video from the file system that will be a pick video here we have to write the image speaker code because we are have to fetch the video from the gallery and to fetch the video from the gallery we need an image speaker so let me create a file first I'm going to import the material dot dot package after importing the material dot dot package I'm going to create a state full widget and the name will be pick file or we can make uh, this class to the stateless as well and here instead of returning the container I'm going to return a scaffold the logic will be I mean the code will be minimal because I don't want to spend time on a UI so in the body what I'm going to use that I'm going to use the center widget and the child of the center widget will be the raise button so in the raise button we are going to write the logic for the picking the video from the gallery so here in the on place as of now we don't have anything and also the raise button have a property called child let me provide the child to the text upload video okay so let me hit the save and let me go on a main dot dot file and use this video pick pick file and let's use pick file widget over here which is we created just now and let me hit the save so here we have the option called upload a video now let me go on a peak video and here we have the on press method inside the on press method only we have to implement the logic for the picking the video from the gallery so for the picking the video from the gallery first thing we have to create a variable which can store the picked image and picked the uh, video okay and the second thing we have to do is we have to create a image picker variable image picker and we have to initialize it and we have to provide the name called picker now we created a picker variable and we also initialize it now in on press what we have to do that the first thing we have to do is we have to make the on press to the async and await type because we are dealing with the io operation so here i have to use the await and the picker instance which we created and here we have to use the get video method to get the video from the gallery here we have to provide the source so we have to provide the image source to the gallery because we are getting the image from the gallery not from the camera okay 
so after providing it this picker dot get video will return a pick the file type of data which is the path video is stored on the file system that will be needed because we have to use that thing so the pick file which we created i have to assign over here so this picker dot get video method will return a picked file type so we have to use this picked file so this picked file will contain the path of the video which is stored on a file system so just after getting the video from the gallery what i'm going to do that i'm going to navigate from this screen to the video player screen so here i'm going to navigate from this screen to the video player screen we have to use the material page route and in a material page route we have the builder method and in the builder method i'm going to return the video player file custom okay all things are good but we have to use this pick file instance on the video player file class because we are getting the path of the video stored on a file system on this pick file so we have to get this pick file thing here so let me create a new variable called final string video path and let me call it inside the constructor this dot video path and let's get this video path from the pick file so here we have to use the video path parameter which we created just now and let me pass the path of the video so inside the picked file we have additional parameter called path which will give the path of the video stored in a file system now we are set to use this video path variable in a video player so here in each state instead of getting the data from the network we have to get the data from the file so the video player controller have a additional parameter called dot file and with help of this we can play the video from the file system so here we have to use a one additional widget called file remember i'm using the file which is provided by the dart.io do not use the file which is provided by the dart.html okay so here we have to use the path so we are getting the path in a video player file video player file custom class and to access that variable we have to use the widget because we are using the stateful widget so with help of the widget dot video path we can get the part of the video and now the video player controller is also in slides so if i will click on a upload video button then we can go on a gallery and here we can select any video which is available on a gallery so if i will select this then after selecting the video we will land into the video player file i mean video player file page so here we have the option of playing the video so we can play the video this widget we already created in the last video so and didn't wrote any code the widget of the ui of this page is already created in our last video i just change the video player controller from the video player controller dot network to the video player controller dot file so now everything is working fine which means we can fetch the video from the gallery and we can play the video so if you are liking this series the flutter random series please hit the like button share the video to your friend and also subscribe the channel thank you all happy coding see you on our next video